yo what's going on guys today the balance patch has went live so with that i'll be going over all the units that have been upgraded buffed <clears throat> nerfed in the balance patch looking at you siete unfortunately his passive is now gone rest in peace water team for magma i mean it still works but not nearly as good anyways we're gonna be going over all the units that are buffed i'll probably go in order of the ones that are most important to me being like six siete lesia but I will get to each character in due time. You can tell I'm using my mic for each character now because the best way for me to, you know, react to them and stuff. The first one we'll be looking at is Six because he's very controversial. People think he's got nerfed. We don't know yet. At the time of me recording this video, I don't know yet because I have not tried him yet. Things to note about him for the potential nerf is that he has lost the ability to get dodge rate boost on his Ogi. It's been replaced by dodge all attacks from foes, which is immunity. Um, it's not immunity as in like veil or anything, but it's one hit. It soaks one hit. It used to be his old skill three ability, but they took that away from his skill three and added it to his skill, to his Ogi. Um, his skill one gains a, whoa, he gets a new icon too. Um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> I didn't do that icon though. <laughs> So he gets Amplify, Caster, uh, well, Amplify effect, which is a um, supplemental damage. It also gains bonus darkness, dark damage. Oh, three turns only though? Oh, I didn't want that. Three turns? Ah, oh, Darn. So that's one thing I was really scared about. Um, we'll see how, how big the bonus damage boost is. When we get into a fight, but I was really scared about that being three turns. I even mentioned it on Discord. That's really unfortunate. Now, uh, also, I think he lost the ability to get damage cap up now on his skill one. That's no longer there, and it's added to its passive. So, if anybody's wondering what happened to the damage cap up, it's now in the passive. Um, but skill two, I don't think, gets a change. Oh, no, it does. Okay. His skill two gains hostility up and counters dodge six times at five star which is well my fault he gains dodge tank and counter um it's different from this dodge and stuff like that because if you get hit by aoe attack with dodge you don't have to counter it but with dodge tank and counter aoe hits can be countered i know it sounds weird but it's actually a difference and not to mention he gets six hits of a counter which is quite a lot actually six hit of a counter and it has three turn up time so that's probably pretty good for let's say fa six hits is qu that's a lot of damage and one skill that that packs a punch now his gates of demons now is a nuke so that's one thing you gotta keep in mind now it's no longer a, a yellow skill which was a buff he gains uh aoe dark damage and petrify i believe it's six hits of dark damage am i wrong maybe um, I guess it's just one hit. It is AOE, so he gets AOE Petrify now and hit the accuracy, which is pretty cool. Um, the accuracy hit is, oh wait, it's still local, huh? I was kind of hoping it to not be local, but that's okay, I guess. Three turns of accuracy down is really strong, in my opinion, so it's not that bad. It allows Dark to be even more fair, because in my opinion, Dark is the best element in the game right now, so pretty cool. I don't believe his skill four got any change. Uh, I was definitely hoping they changed his skill four. I feel it's kind of underwhelming compared to the other units, but I understand if they don't want to change it. Now with his passive, he gets deal multi attacks. It used to be double attacks, so now he has the ability to deal triple attacks too. Very very good. Don't know the percent on it right now. Um, if anybody knows at the time of recording this video or after recording this video, you can post it in the comments or something. He gains a boost to attack, damage cap, and triple attack based on Heavily Howl. I believe he gains Heavily Howl stacks between one of his skills. No? Hmm. That's weird. He doesn't gain Heavily Howl um, through any of his skills, unfortunately. But he gains one every turn, so it takes six turns to max out. He doesn't start with any either, which is kind of lame. Yeah, that's kind of unfortunate. He loses two upon taking damage. Which is not that bad. Um, I kind of prefer this in terms of what he had before. Because if before he would lose all his stacks. Though he ramped up really fast back then. I don't know how big his ramp up is now. 
and he has a really cool passive here where he gets six hits of dark damage to a foe when the foe uses a special attack. That's very, very good in my opinion. I don't know how that applies in fights like with multiple enemies, but luckily I'll be going to Sev. So we can see there. Uh, let's go take a little run here. We can take Hades. And we can... Uh, so I had a team set up already. Cool. There we go. This team I'll be taking. Uh, I went to sub high level because it doesn't really matter what content we go in with six. Um, six is going to cap regardless anyway. It doesn't really matter that much. Yes, this is just that character where you know. The content you take him to does, does not matter. He still do six damage. So it really doesn't matter. Okay. So let's see what brand new six can do. Drop some debuffs here really quick. I'm not going to debuff all the way because we probably push it really hard. Oh, you didn't see what I just did, by the way, guys. I did not totally forget to use Splitting Spirit. That was totally intended. Trust me, this is big brain right here. So let's use skill one. Uh, use skill two, I guess, too. And we might as well hit skill three because why not, right? The buff on that. So that was a 1 million nuke. We do have skill cap off on our Opus right now, so um, that's what 45% up. So I guess it's about 700k on his nuke, which is okay, I guess. 700k, that's not that bad. I've seen worse, right? No, I think it's 800k. I'm sorry, 800k without the Opus uh, or the skill cap up. Oh, that's baby damage. What I'm really looking to see is his counter on the trigger. So let's check here. If we can get the counter on trigger, that'd be really nice. We are going to put it to sleep though, but I think this one will activate defense buff, I believe. It's been a while since I've done this fight, but it should be something like that. Luckily, I don't have to showcase any Ogies or anything like that. Cause I tend to forget it. If you guys watch me a lot for, like, for Ogies, I tend to forget that type of stuff. Forgive me. So let's check here. Defense buff, right? Yeah, there we go. And it's counter. One million. Not bad. Not one million? That's really good for EX plus. Um that's an extra one million on your one turn, so. Honestly, I don't think it's that bad. Now let's do all this. I don't know if we'll have enough, but maybe we will. And eh, pushing it. It should be able to push it to 50 here, I think, maybe. No, not yet. Mm, six takes a little bit longer to cap, I think. I can't really tell. Oh, that's really nice. Does it happen every time? What if there's multiple triggers in a turn? Would he counter it each time? That's really nice. I really like that. That one mil, that's pretty good for like ultimate Bahamut. Is his skill, his passive, right? Is it dispellable? Hold up. Oh, it can't be dispelled either, right? Yeah, I'm, that sounds really good for ultimate Bahamut because ultimate Bahamut's a raid where you like, you run through triggers quite often. So this having him this counter every turn for like 1 million, it's not that bad. I like that, I like that a lot. We're actually gonna get another counter right here because I believe the boss gives an attack boost right now. So we should see another counter. Now the bonus damage we got from the skill one. Ooh, that's so nice. God, <laughs> I like it. I really like the counter. I don't know how I feel about his skill one though. I need to get a little better a better test with his skill one. We have two turns. We're gonna attack the main body here, and then I'm gonna fully debuff the body. But we're gonna attack the little bit, and then I'm gonna fully debuff the main body to see how well his skill one does. Or drop this here. Cause I'm really curious more about his skill one damage. 
and what it really can do. Because I feel like that's one of the big things that he lost out on in the long run. So let's take a little look here. Uh, should be this turn, right? Ooh, so nice. Gotta love that. <laughs> okay, so we got the skill one up. Got the counters too. We can, we can hit the nuke again. Doesn't really matter that much, in my opinion. 1.5, actually. Hmm, maybe the cap is higher than I thought it was. Okay, let's go. Let's see what six can do. We can, we can see the damage. I can't see the What is that? 140k? I can't see nothing, bro. <laughs> oh, 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 those counters. Oh, and then he nukes again. Ugh. Eat that. I think, you know, that's pretty nice. <laughs> no, I can't see the damage because it's so much bonus damage. Oh, you know what? Hmm. Do we get the spell? No. Okay, we have one more turn. I thought it was three turns. No? Oh, it's been two turns. I didn't even realize. Okay. Um, I'm trying to put it to sleep here. Yeah, I'm trying to see what his bonus damage actually does, but really hard to see. I'm. I think it's the 147k, which looks to be really low. At least it doesn't look nearly as high as it used to be. I believe before it's around 30%. I'm actually very curious about that. We're just gonna go into um the trial really quick. I'm sorry about this. I, I just really want to see his skill one nam numbers. So it, it's too hard to see with the Parazonium, I think. This is the one thing I really want to know right now. So I think it was, I used to turn a one and I got the damage out, but I really wasn't thinking too much about it. Because I know I was talking, but... Let's look here. I may just do trial battles, honestly. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do these videos. I didn't really think too much about it. Uh, let's see what his skill one is. Uh... Oh, oh, 50 percent. I'm blind. Did I just do that 50 percent? Hold up. Oh, my Lord. Hmm. That's actually more than 50 percent because I was doing 290 K and the bonus damage would do uh, 180, right? That's about what? 60 ish? Right. Something like that. I mean, I, I can't do quick math off the top of my head, but you know, I think it's not that bad. Um, it's a little bit clicky though, so I don't think I like it that much. It's probably better with she returns now. Um, as long as it stacks with everything, that's like the biggest problem with it now, is that because it's on his skill one, I think with some, some types of bonus damage, it will not stack. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure because it's on his skill one, unless it's unique. There'll be some things that he could he could stack with before that he won't be able to stack with now. Somebody may figure that out, um, but I do think that may be a problem in the future. Anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.